Hello everyone and welcome to this training video where we look at dashboard creation. In some of our previous training videos we have focused on how to get data into the system and how to customize your charts. In this training video we will show you how to bring all your data together and present it through the dashboard. They allow you to configure a range of different tiles to display your data in a way that is meaningful to your team and clients in real time. Now let's build a dashboard from the very beginning. This can be done by selecting a location, selecting create, and then dashboard. You'll begin with a blank canvas, but when you select add tile, it'll open up our library of tiles, which allow you to present data in many different ways. As you select a tile, it will be added to your dashboard, and you can continue this process until you've selected all the relevant tiles and have them in place. Let me speed up this process to save a little time. As we select different tiles from the library, we can size them on our dashboard. Here I am adding a value list, and then a location on the map tile, a historical table, and finally finish with a custom chart. Now that we've got all our tiles in position, we can provide some color customization. This can be done by selecting the options box on the top right of each tile, selecting properties, and then the colour. Let's change both of these gauges to black. Now it's time to get some data onto this dashboard. This can be done by expanding the data source and the location so we can see our sensors. Now we can drag and drop all our different forms of data from site photos to location and sensor data onto our dashboard. Let's start by dragging our site photo onto our attachment image and our sensor data onto our value tiles and onto our gauge tiles. By dragging and dropping the data source onto the alarm summary tile, it will ensure it illuminates red if any alarms activated for this location. Our value list can handle as many sensors as you'd like. And the same is with our historical table. Our location can be dragged and dropped onto the map. Satellite view and the ability to zoom in is available. Finally, to complete this dash, let's drag and drop a historical chart that I've pre-configured. And that finalizes this dashboard, providing an overview and a snapshot of this location. Now let's finish on how to present data from multiple locations on the one dashboard. This can be done by creating a new dashboard from the workspace, selecting Create and then Dashboard. In this example, I'm going to build two rows in the dashboard to present data from two different locations. Here you can see me selecting two different alarm summaries and two different value tiles. I'm going to finish it off with a value list and provide a little color customization. Now let's drag the data from the two different locations onto the two rows that I've created in this dashboard. Let's start with the east side. Let's drag and drop a site photo for the east side, an alarm summary for the sensor temperature, I'd like to see the battery voltage via the value, and I'd like to see a summary of all the sensors on the value list. Let's do this now for our south side. There we can see two different site data being presented on the one dashboard. This is a simple example, but let's have a look at some more comprehensive ones. In this example, you can see data coming in from three different sites. We're looking at the temperature and the battery voltage for each location. In this example, we're looking at data coming in from six different locations. Up on the top, we have live images coming in every 20 seconds. Some key sensors being looked at are the water level and the battery voltage. Site photos can either be static or dynamic. All of this data is being presented in real time. Well, that concludes this training video. If you haven't already got an account with us, visit this link and we'll set you up with a 20-minute demo and get a trial account up and running for you.